Hi everybody, this is Simon Sage from Android Central. Today we're checking out the Samsung Galaxy S Relay 4G. The Samsung Galaxy S Relay 4G is a mid-range slider that recently found its way to T-Mobile. On the front face we have a 4-inch 800 by 480 Super AMOLED display, two capacitive buttons, and a physical home key. Along the outside, the keys and ports take on their usual positions for Samsung devices. The power button is on the right side, volume rocker on the left, micro USB on the bottom, and headphone jack on top. At 13.4 millimeters thick, the relay will definitely feel chubbier than, than other phones out there, but that's the price you pay for a real keyboard. In a world chock full of Slate-style smartphones, there's certainly room for a few physical QWERTY keyboards. In this instance, the keys are nicely spread provide good clicky tactile feedback, and lots of room to type with a full five rows. There are even dedicated keys for launching directly into messaging, email, or voice commands, be it the bundled desk voice app or another of your choosing. Despite its generous size, the layout takes a little bit of getting used to, especially when the P, A, and 1 keys are inexplicably larger than the rest. The 5 megapixel camera with LED flash is passable and will do a decent job of capturing life's little moments though maybe not with the same fidelity as a proper point-and-shoot camera or a higher-end smartphone. All of the usual settings are there, such as the various scene modes, white balance, metering, and ISO handling. There are a few filters included for those that are feeling artistic, plus there's a wide variety of apps available in Google Play to expand your photographic experience. The Samsung Galaxy S Relay 4G provides many customizations to the core Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich experience. The notification tray has a wide variety of wireless controls, a brightness slider, and a shortcut to the system settings menu. In fact, there's really not much room at all for actual notifications, especially if you're viewing the tray in landscape orientation. The more extreme customizations are a wide variety of motion controls that take a fair bit of getting used to. They can all be enabled or disabled from the settings menu, but even figuring out which, which ones to keep and which to ditch can be a bit of a chore. Some, such as tilting the device to move icons between home screens, are extremely useful. Others, such as dual tapping and tilting the device to zoom in and out, are much more finicky. Pinch to zoom works just fine for me, thanks. Overall, the 1.5 GHz dual-core processor and 1 GB of RAM provide enough horsepower to maintain a smooth experience and run fairly high-end Android games. The 1800 mAh battery was strong enough to get me through a day of regular usage, and with a bit of diligence I could even get through two days with it. If you're looking for a slider on T-Mobile, this is currently as good as it gets. And if, you're, if you have some flexibility in carrier choice, the Motorola Photon Q offers a bit more bang for buck. For those that are interested, the Samsung Galaxy S Relay 4G is available on T-Mobile right now for $149.99 on a two-year contract. Hey everybody, it's Phil from Android Central, and if you want to help out the site and look good, go get the best damn Android t-shirt anywhere from shopandroid.com.